Good afternoon everyone. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing about Fibonacci heaps. Fibonacci heaps are based on uh, rooted trees. Those who are not familiar with the rooted trees, uh, I would recommend you to uh, watch some of uh, previous uh, lectures in which I discussed about basic tree concepts and uh, rooted trees or uh, maybe good idea to take a textbook and just go through the basic concept about root trees. Nevertheless, I have an example here for a root tree. Okay. Root tree will have uh, will have a property that it's each node has a key attribute. Okay. So each node will have a key value. And this root tree will be ordered, you know, you can order it in a either min order or max order. This particular tree is in a min order heap structure that each node will have key value equal to or greater than of its parent and the lowest key value node will become the root of the tree. Fibonacci heap is nothing but a collection of these trees. So let's say you have you know 10, 20, 100 million of such small trees rooted trees and you want to make a collection. Okay. So that collection data structure is known as Fibonacci heap structure with a property that uh, each tree in that heap will have a min heap uh, order okay. or it will obey the min heap property each rooted tree in that collection. All right. So let's say for, for example that uh, we have here four rooted trees okay? and this collection becomes a Fibonacci heap. Now see here for example these uh, trees are isolated, okay? they are not connected. So we can't make use of this collection until or unless we find a way to connect each node in this collection. Fibonacci heap uh, tells us how to connect each node in this collection. How? Let's talk about. So each node contains a pointer to its parent and a pointer to one of its children. Okay? Children are linked together in a circular doubly linked list. You may call it a child list. Okay? And roots of all these trees root node they are also connected in a doubly linked list okay how you connect it it's, a, it's very simple you have say let's say if you have this node where its left pointer is going you connect that node and right pointer okay so that's that's becomes a you know kind of a fancy but it's sort of easy thing and this root will have some its own this node will have some uh, some property associated with it okay so pointers uh, do a magic here okay each child node has a left pointer and right pointer pointing to its left sibling or right sibling okay? let's take an example so in this in the same example we have these four trees four root trees and we want to connect it in a Fibonacci heap okay or we want to make use of pointers so that these uh, for over the property of Fibonacci heap as we discussed these points here now before doing that let's talk about what is h min h min is nothing but it is pointing to the root to the node which has the minimum key value and the minimum key value node also becomes the root of this Fibonacci heap. Notice here we have four trees and out of these four trees we have four key values 22, 6, 3 and 16. What is the minimum key value is here 3. So 3 becomes our root node for this Fibonacci heap. Now let's try to connect with the pointers. 
So let's connect first the nodes which are in the root list. Okay, means all the root nodes of all uh, individual trees, rooted trees. Okay, so let's connect it. Three. What is its left sibling? Would be six. Connect it to the six. What is the left sibling of six? Is twenty-two. What is the left sibling of twenty-two? Would it become sixteen. Left sibling of six sixteen would become three. Okay, we came back to three. Now right sibling of three is sixteen, and right sibling of sixteen is twenty two. Right sibling twenty two, and right sibling of twenty two is six, and right sibling of six is three. Came back to three. Now notice here that we have pointers in this middle uh, rooted tree. We have pointers from each of the child node going to its parent, but from parent only one pointer is going to one of its children, which is forty-five. Why? Because we 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 can make use of uh, these pointers to assess all other nodes. Okay, so. So what do we do here? Let's connect now these child nodes together in a child list. So what is the forty-five last left sibling is ten. Ten's left would be thirty-three. Thirty-three left would be forty-five. Forty-five right is thirty-three. Thirty-three right. Would be ten, and ten right would be forty-five. We came back to forty-five. Okay, good. Now, notice that uh, the leaf nodes, leaf nodes, fifteen, thirty-five, twenty-eight. They don't have any siblings. So what's going to happen? Left pointer. For left sibling will point to itself, and the right, same way, right will point to itself. Left of thirty-five point to itself. Right of thirty-five point to itself. Left of twenty-eight point to itself. Right of twenty-eight will point to itself. So see the beauty of pointers. It's a jungle of pointers. But don't don't get afraid. These are just pointers. These are just the addresses. Just manipulate the addresses and assess the data what you want to. Do. Okay. Now that's a beautiful data structure. This gives us the advantage. Like say, if you want to um, add or delete a node in a doubly circular linked list, we can do it in O one time. Okay. In the same way. If we have say more collection and we want to concatenate different circular linked lists, we can do it in O one time. So in such applications where you want to you know add, delete, concatenate those kind of applications, this turned out to be a very beautiful data structure, just doing operations in O one time. Now there is another important concept of uh, potential function, which is uh, described in your textbook. So what what is poten uh, potential function? Well, textbook says that it's like a potential energy. Well, they use this function, or the idea of the potential function is, is analogous to the potential, okay, um, electric potential or potential energy, uh, to make use of of that. Idea uh, for a data structure to give a number, certain number, uh, to quantify uh, how how easy or hard it is to you know do operations on this particular data structure. Okay, we have big O notations, but that's fine. 
but this is some something else in, in the similar line to basically quantify the hardness or easiness okay so before um, without going in detail of potential function um, in this lecture the idea here is just to understand what what it is uh, we might be discussing about use of potential function in, in coming future videos so what it is basically is just potential function of this heap is d h means how many trees okay or how many basically root rooted trees in this heap fibonacci heap we have so we have one two three four okay now two times m for marked nodes now right now we don't have any marked nodes but say for for saying purpose let's mark this node 15 mark this node 6 2 mark this node 23 so we have three marked nodes now so what would be the potential function value so it's simply 4 plus 2 times multiplied by 3 that is 10 okay so that was uh, that was the uh, brief introduction about fibonacci heaps in the next lecture we're going to be discussing about how to create fibonacci heaps basic operations add delete uh, navigating through the heap uh, associated uh, time complexity of those operations in the next lecture.